Question 6. 2.7 add 3.014. Well, again, let's double check the symbol, and it's in definitely an add this time. So we're adding these two numbers together. And it's quite wise just to use a column method to double check. So when you're using a column method, notice that the exam paper has written the numbers side by side. We need to write the numbers one on top of the other. Okay. So the easiest thing to do is to actually put the decimal points in first. So that way we are guaranteed of lining the numbers up correctly in the correct columns. So you put the decimal points in, lined on top of one another. Then we've got 2.7, and then underneath we've got 3.014, and we're adding them together. Now, what we can see is that in this column and this column, we've got two blank spaces. So in those empty spaces, you can put zeros in there. So 2.7 is the same as 2.70, and 2.70 with an extra zero on the end is also the same as just 2.7. So we're not actually changing the value of 2.7 by adding in those extra zeros. We're just filling in the gap. And now we're ready to work it out. So let's just draw a couple of lines ready for our answer. So we don't forget we're adding. So 0 add 4 is 4, 0 add 1 is 1, 7 add 0 is 7, and 2 add 3 is 5. The only thing that's missing um, is the decimal point. So your decimal point's just lined up in the correct column already, so your decimal point needs to go in there. So all that remains to be done is to write our answer into the answer box. So our final answer is 5.714.